The AFL's well-publicised push into Western Sydney continues to gather momentum, but the code isn't only looking to harvest rugby league for new talent. The AFL has set up an Indigenous multicultural talent program intent on unearthing the game's next stars from the Western Sydney region. At first glance, it looks like just another Aussie Rules side in pre-season training. But this is a team with a difference. These boys, aged 14 to 16, hail from a wide range of backgrounds, including Indigenous Australians, Italian and Sudanese. But it's the game of Aussie Rules that brings them together. Sometimes kids come from... Uh, Overseas, migrants or refugees sometimes feel a bit alienated, um, a bit out of, out of it at school and in the community. So this sport actually gave them a sense of belonging. The AFL's Indigenous Multicultural Talent Program has recruited recently retired Sydney Swans champion Michael O'Loughlin as a mentor and the 300 gamer has plenty of experience to share. All of these things that, you know, that they weren't around years and years ago. So there's a hell of a lot of things that are here for you guys. You guys are going to take the opportunity. The program isn't just football based, the players are taught important life skills and the value of cultural awareness. My job is obviously to let them know how hard and how difficult it is, um, not everybody can do it, so, but if you work hard and um, you know, sort of put your head down and, and get stuck into it, you, you're in with a chance. Some of the kids uh, have only been here for maybe uh, no more than two years. We've actually exposed them to AFL through in-school programs such as the intensive English centres down at Fairfield High School. Dodo Efran could represent the changing face of Aussie rules. He's an AFL convert after migrating to Australia from Thailand. I came in Australia about one year, one and a half years. I want to keep playing till I can join the club. Yeah, I love this sport now. After 15 years in the Harbour City, O'Loughlin has had the box seat as Sydney's love for Aussie rules has taken hold. I can remember, you know, 10 years ago, <laughs> this was... Just, just a park. Um, now we've got goalposts up here, so it's great to see, you know, certainly um, the city of Sydney really embracing AFL footy. And um, when the second team comes up, obviously that, that publicity is, is certainly, um, it's everyone's thinking about it, that's for sure. The game's new figurehead in the West, Kevin Sheedy, has been a long time fan of Indigenous players. He's also scanned the globe looking for the next big thing. It might not happen quickly. But according to the AFL, it will happen. Yeah, the AFL's in it for the long haul. It's, it's like a marathon for us, it's not a sprint. So um, we're, we're optimistic and I'm, I'm pretty sure that we'll um, embrace those multicultural communities and they'll embrace the game. As you say, we've got all these guys here, uh, I, you know, five years ago that wouldn't have happened. So um, it's just great to see different people getting involved in the sport. This program, just another example of the lengths the AFL is willing to go to in its bid to truly root itself in Western Sydney. Adam Curley, Fox Sports News.